Welcome to 5 Minute Music. About a year and a half ago, I made a video when I first got my carbon fiber violin, and I wanted to make an update video to let people know how well it's held up. So this is a Glasser carbon fiber violin. When I bought this, it was about $600. And what you buy is just the violin. I had to buy the case separately, the bow separately. It did come with a chin rest, but it didn't come with a shoulder rest. It was pretty much just what you absolutely need in order to play the violin. And I bought it specifically for teaching because when I have 40 kids in my classroom, I can't always be looking after my violin and making sure that it's being taken care of. This violin needed to survive haphazard conditions. This violin has proven to be pretty much indestructible. Also, Glasser violins, if you're watching this, I really could use a five string, like a C string, so something to think about. Anyway, I want to talk about what this violin has endured and things that I've noticed over time. So the first thing, with it being carbon fiber, it doesn't really respond to temperature temperature changes and humidity changes. It does go a little bit out of tune, but it's still very easy to tune it. For example, I'm on winter break right now, a wonderful time of year for teachers, and it's been a kind of cold environment, and so it sounds like this. <laughs> It took me about 10 seconds to get it in decent tune and I didn't have to wrestle with the instrument. The one thing that I did mention in my previous video is that the G string, the tuning peg here, doesn't stay in place as well as the others and that's been a very consistent issue. And so I'm very glad that it comes with fine tuners because what I've had to do is move the G string a little bit higher than I normally would and then just detune it over here. <laughs> So that is a little bit annoying, but it's not a huge issue. I also, when I had my violin hanging up, which I would never do with my nice fragile wooden violin, but with this one, it, it just doesn't matter. I had it hanging and the thing it was hanging on gave way and it landed right on the floor, like on its butt. That's happened a couple of times and it's not usually an issue. Like I've had students drop it as well and I've had it where the bridge comes off or it gets moved pretty significantly. The bridge has not warped at all. And I think the sound post is glued in place because that's never been an issue either and so whenever the bridge does come off I just stick it back on tune it back up and then I'm ready to go within like two minutes of it happening which would not be the case for a regular violin if that happened to a regular violin that would be a trip to the violin shop but anyway this fell and the original chin rest that this violin came with did break so the feet of the chin rest which are usually metal and it was metal on the original one that stayed perfectly intact so I think I salvaged that it was just the actual chin rest itself that had like broken in half and it was unusable which was kind of sad because I liked the shape and the feel of the chin rest that it came with but it didn't ruin my day. I frequently have hit objects against this violin and I'm not seeing any dents in the instrument itself. Not like I would even really care about that but it is cool that there hasn't been any sort of cosmetic damage. Also the carbon fiber bow that I bought a year and a half ago actually did break. I thought carbon fiber bows were pretty indestructible but it broke right over here at the tip. And again, that bow didn't come with the instrument, but I am a little impressed that I managed to break it. The only other thing is the strings. I'm noticing that these strings are worn out. So I'm editing this video and there's like two minutes of footage of me just talking about strings. I'm basically a professional violinist and I had forgotten that you're supposed to change your strings regularly. Strings are expensive, who has time for that? So the strings wearing out is not Glasser's fault. That's just kind of how it works. And I had no issues with the strings when they were in good condition, so there you go. The actual violin itself has held up very well. It also is worth noting that when I play this in the classroom, it's actually pretty loud. My original intention was to use this violin for outdoor performance, which functionally worked very great because I didn't have to tune it at all, I didn't have to worry about the violin overheating or anything like that, but it has very little acoustic power of its own when you're outdoors, and so that was a situation where I was happier with the result when I had my nice violin. I guess I should play a little bit to remind you how it sounds. I don't even know what an in-tune A sounds like. I'm on break. What can I play? I have not practiced hardly at all since I've graduated college. All right, I don't feel like playing for very long, so here's a little Irish tune. Anyway, all 
all, this has been a very useful instrument for me. Very happy that I have it, and I'm very happy that this violin is enduring so much pain, so that way my other violin doesn't have to. I appreciate the sacrifice. Hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching.